oven. That's what these creatures would see. They would see the heat expended by their bodies in the world around them. It would look very different than it does to you or me. To see heat signatures on the dark side of the planet is one of the biggest links on the food chain of Arenel. The Kurja, a cunning advantage. They're in their sense and their moves and the way they act together, they resemble jackals in the plains of Africa. They move in herds, they're hunters, they're predators. They're ugly little nasty creatures that will surround a peanut pot or a colony of them, ferret them out, and that's their meal. They have the odd ability, however, to see not only in the twilight regions with eyes like we might normally have, but they have a second set of smaller eyes right above that once they move into the darker regions, the nighttime side, they can now pick up the heat signatures of creatures in that area. These are only a few of the creatures that could live on a planet like Arenel. But at least for now, they are simply a product of our imagination. In science, we can sit there and we can imagine life elsewhere. But if we have examples, we have one data point, in fact, and that's planet Earth. And so if we can look at life on Earth, it provides us with an amazing wealth of information that we can then take forward to look for life elsewhere. We have a variety of ecosystems that we can study and we can look at challenges. What are in ecosystems? What challenges do living things face? And we can apply these principles to alien life. To understand how these principles can be applied, we must continue our intergalactic fantasy safari. We leave the surface of Arenel and zip across the cosmos 322 light years away to a new solar system and the theoretical planet AG-143. AG-143 is bigger than the Earth, much bigger than the Earth. It has a beautiful ring system that circles around it. But more importantly, it is a big, gigantic, dry desert with three times the gravitational field that we feel here on the Earth. A human weighing in at 175 pounds on Earth would step off onto the surface of AG-143 to weigh about 525 pounds. Certainly, life would need to adapt. But how? David Aguilar of Harvard University's Center for Astrophysics believes the best way to envision the adaptations of complex alien life forms is by looking at the variety of creatures that have evolved to inhabit the diverse ecosystems of our own world. We're here at the North Carolina Zoo because of all the zoos in the country right now, this is very special. It is large. It's big. And the environments here duplicate the different environments we find on our planet. This here today is a marvelous example of the variety of life on our planet. And within this variety of life on Earth, Aguilar believes that creatures supporting an extremely heavy structure become the perfect model for understanding evolution on AG-143. When we talk about an animal adapted for a heavy world environment, a world with more gravity, this is it. Look at what we have out here, the prototype legs that can suspend a huge body. Of course, we would have to move him down, move him closer to the ground, but this is perfect what we would see. Shorter, squattier, but heavy like this, adapted to a planet with much stronger gravity. Although life forms on AG-143 have certain comparable characteristics to creatures on Earth, their alien faces are beyond anything found on our planet. Okay, we copy that. 
Captain, sounds good. Don't wish we were with you. What if, one day, a deep space probe detects life outside our solar system? What would an alien look like? To better understand these otherworldly creatures and how they might have evolved, scientists believe you must first understand a few simple concepts about the physical environments where life might begin. When looking at planets around distant stars, there are two factors that we scientists zero in on. First is distance to the mother star. That determines how much energy you have and whether or not you have liquid water. Second, the mass. The size of the planet. That determines gravity and what kind of organisms you may have. When people think about evolutionary biology, we tend to think of the whole nature red in tooth and claw, the whole Darwinian competition among organisms and among species and so on, but we forget that it's the physical environment that really shapes life. What gravity you have, what temperature, what pressure, what composition the atmosphere is, if there is any atmosphere, and so on. The laws of physics don't change as you travel through the universe. So understanding how creatures evolved in our earthly environment has allowed scientists to imagine what life forms might arise on other types of worlds. Like the theoretical planet AG-143. AG-143 orbits a bright F-class star. Only 10% of this world is covered with surface water and pockets of this liquid H2O collect under the sands from sparse rainfall. The environment on AG-143 is hot, arid, and the sunshine extremely bright. Now, because the star is an F-class star, okay, which is brighter than the sun, you're gonna have UV output, ultraviolet light output. So, the organisms there are gonna have to somehow be shielded that, either in the atmosphere or in their own coverings. These coverings may be in the form of thick shells or other exteriors that would absorb the harsh UV radiation. But the creatures on AG-143 would also develop other physical characteristics that are unique to this world. It's really interesting to imagine what life might be like on a planet with higher gravity. Well, from a microbe's point of view, there might not be a whole lot of difference. Where the differences would start to come is when you go out and land, for example, and there you have to worry about standing up. Oh, darn gravity, you know, I just, I just can't pull myself up. But another byproduct of strong gravity may also give rise to an unlikely cast of characters on the surface of AG-143 or rather, slightly above the surface. On Earth, our atmosphere is 79% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, and 1% other gases that is held in place due to the gravitational pull of the Earth. But on a planet like AG-143, the stronger gravity would hold a much thicker atmosphere, perfect for achieving flight it may 